Good morning. There's so many dishes to do. <laughs> it's all those dang cups that can't be machine washed. Anyway, hi. I'm feeling so so. And I know you're asking Stephanie. We were feeling good yesterday. What happened? I know you're not actually, but yeah, my period started, so <laughs> I feel terrible again. And I can feel the soreness of my bladder now that I have cramps too. So I'm very aware that things aren't completely better. Whereas yesterday, when the worst of the acute pain finally went away, it was like that euphoric feeling when like a headache lifts or a backache stops and suddenly you feel like a million dollars because that doesn't hurt anymore. So I was still feeling it, but I felt so much better that I felt all better. So yeah, after three days of pain and bleeding from the UTI, I get to move into five days of pain and bleeding. <laughs> At least I had 12 hours, right? We'll always have those in our memory. Are you back? Sebastian is still asleep. It's 6.20, so that's awesome. He did ask at bedtime if he'd still get a chance to watch videos in the morning, like if it was still an option. I said, yeah, of course. It's set to start at 6, and I don't get to hear this until 6.30. But I didn't want him to get it in his head that he needs to like wake up early to do this. Stop. <laughs> so I like really said that part fast and then emphasized but if you get going and dress and have your breakfast and have time you can absolutely watch a video so he didn't fuss and i'm glad of it but i think i want to tackle some of these cups and this and i don't know what's going on with Teddy's pressure I might need to move up so I have room to dry the cups. I don't have to pack a lunch, so I think I'm going to start getting the school stuff away, put away the dishes that I just did last night, and I'm going to go with him and start all this stuff. So, good morning.
Hello everyone. It is 4.19. It's already that late. It's been a take it easy, but also hurt the brain kind of day. Took care of all the kids stuff. And then I've just been doing IEP research. We're going through another round of that soon. I did hear that Sebastian's getting math interventions starting next week. He already has daily reading intervention. But he's not that bad at math. I feel like when I work through how to do something and he actually pays attention to me, he does really well. And last year's math scores were right on average. So to see him drop to 1%, from like around 50 was so hard because I don't think he is 1%. I think he just didn't bother with the test. But he will benefit from a small group because I mean who wouldn't benefit from a 6 kid math class versus a 22 kid math class with lots of distractions. And his teacher is the sweetest lady ever. I work with her on Tuesdays in the office, so win-win. And we don't know what issues he could be having that could be interfering with math, so we want to be proactive and start that as soon as possible. That is a general education intervention, as is the reading, so not no IEP required for that, but we need to see the underlying issues that are causing all these interventions to be needed and see if accommodations or extra therapies are needed based on those. Because something's not working. So lots of learning for me and research. I need to put together some good notes and figure out a good plan for notes and meetings because every time I go there, I just, I'm so focused on listening to people making eye contact that I can't take notes which is tough. And sometimes they're like, well, I'll send you my notes, and then I don't get the notes, so. I'm having to just memorize things, so. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can somehow do notes. I also took a nap in the middle of the day, and it was so needed because my cramps are making me very aware that my bladder is still very sore. So that sucks. But, yeah, that felt good, and I feel like they're a little better right now. Sebastian came home, and yeah, nothing really went on. We finally did that little Washington Monument craft. It's currently tipped over. He did the cutting, and I had to do the folding because it was just a little too fussy. It would be hard for some adults, but I'm used to making tiny little paper folded things for miniatures. Danny just left to get a haircut, Costco, bank, all sorts of errands, and then he's gonna go out and do the sound for a late show. So he's out for the night. I asked Jax if he wanted to do a movie night with me after I got Sebastian to bed. So I'm gonna have to stay up. I just switched to crochet because I'm on the bottom row of this thing. And Jax just got home. He said, he had his first shift of being a library minion, what they call the, the helpers, library volunteers. So lunch, he ate lunch in the library while they gave like a presentation of the tasks that you do. And then he said he was the only one there during his study hall shift. He chose study hall, which is the final block of the day for him on A days. A and B, A, B, A, B, like that. So he could potentially go every other day for quite a while. I think it's like an hour and 45 minutes. And he pretty much gets done what he needs to do in study hall. He says usually it's just like copying notes down or something. And then he goes and gives whatever time to the library. So he was there for like an hour and a half. And he said he was just like, are they coming down? He was just buzzing with telling me how it went, how he was 
perfectionist and sorting all the books and getting everything perfect by the Dewey Decimal System is making my library love and heart grow two sizes, so that is perfect. Love it. I knew he would be perfect for it. Hope he doesn't get sick of it because there's other tasks you can do as well, but that's going to be a big one for sure. I know this guy's sad because he just got locked up because we have a person who is afraid of dogs visiting Jax's neighborhood friend. I guess they were walking home together and that friend is having a birthday party tomorrow. So, tomorrow evening. So I guess Jax just said, hey, come in and hang out. And it's just going to show off computer things, but they seem to enjoy it. So that's what's going on up there. I don't know when dinner is going to be, but if we're going to do a movie, it can't be too late. But I'm happy to just crochet right now. Maybe I'll order something. Maybe I'll cook something. I don't know. We just ate what I normally order. I didn't put lotion on my neck. It gets really dry. Dehydrated. And rashy. I bled the other day. I was like, what did I do? A little scab there now. <sighs> I'm a mess. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. What else has gone on? I think orange braiding hair just came because I want to do orange and ginger for Halloween month. Spooky month. I've never done orange. I've done some ginger and I think I could use the ginger dye on the bottom half of here. It's just slightly lavender. My hair's pretty lovely. Just been living with it up this week. But three day weekend, so maybe I can get a lot done. Maybe it'll be hard. Maybe I'll just be crocheting because I just want to finish this thing before it gets cold. It's another warm one right now. But yeah, that's my update. Hope you're having a good day. past school bedtime so he's probably pretty tired it's Friday night but I mean you wake up early on Fridays my tongue itch. sorry did you take your medicine you didn't throw it away yeah drink some water oh I can't do anything hopefully I'll heal up everybody's whiny Anyway, I cooked dinner as you saw because I looked at all our usuals and everything's just so overpriced, like double what it's worth. And then you have to tip and I'm just like, no, I just can't. And so I got up and cooked. And then everybody was in so many hungry. Everybody's been eating non-stop since dinner. <laughs> no, Sebastian didn't finish his dinner. And then he was like, I'm hungry. 
Jack's finished his dinner and then brought food upstairs and came down for more food. Oh. And then I crocheted while Sebastian played outside with his truck and then tried to play some Fall Guys, which he really hasn't gotten the hang of yet, but he'll get there. <clears throat> I got four more flower centers, the colored parts done, and I think those are the last four. I need to do one completely black square for the second pocket interior, and then I need to do all the black around all of them and attach them, and then I can move on to the ripping. <clears throat> I should finish it this weekend, and that is awesome. But I'm gonna go finish getting ready. So far, I've put on the pajama pants that Danny hates because they're so big and frumpy. I think it's the back that he hates the most. <laughs> they're pretty frumpy. This goes, this goes lower. <sighs> you can't see. <laughs> they're comfy and I've had them for like 20 years. <laughs> so I will. I'm gonna. What? Your tongue? No. Go get a nice cube to suck on. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and go deal with that. So I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.